I'm Kate. I'm the HR manager here at Express. I go out walking quite a lot. I have a dog, so um, and he's a little working cocker spaniel, so he's definitely very energetic and needs to be out and about running that energy off. So it gets me out there, um, and I think it's brilliant. I love being out in the woods, um, going out and just generally enjoying um, being out in the open air. I really think green space is a fantastic way to get you out and be there. Um, it really sort of helps you manage stress, helps manage your well-being. Um, so I would definitely recommend it at any point. If you're having a day, just get out, go for a nice walk, even if it's just 10 minutes down the road. Sometimes a little bit of fresh air, step away um, is really, really helpful. So if the weather's bad and I don't maybe get out as often, I do notice that I'm a bit more like oh, sluggish and, and not feeling as good. Um, so actually it's it's really nice when I do get out and about in the fresh air. Hi, my name's Callum. I work in the rehab team at On Time. I've recently gotten into doing skateboarding, which is quite fun. I got into skateboarding just because one of my friends had done it recently and she got into doing Doing it for her mental health so I thought I'd give it a go myself and it is quite enjoyable and I have to say it's definitely helped. It's definitely a humbling experience but it's definitely it makes me feel better knowing uh, that I'm getting better at doing something especially when it involves not falling on my backside anymore. I think personally it's good to be doing something all of the time because if you get sat alone with your own thoughts it's obviously not going to get any better but if you're out doing something especially if you're doing it with friends and then if you've got progress that you can look back on it's just an all-encompassing good feeling and I can't recommend it enough. I found as well that if I'm doing skateboarding with my friends a lot of the time it helps me talk about things with them that I wouldn't talk about normally just because it's not a direct one-on-one -on -one conversation doing something else while you're doing it helps take your mind off things and also sort of helps the conversation flow a bit more easily. My name is Megan and I work for the rehab team at On Time Reports. To get moving I like to do yoga and pilates. I got into it about two years ago to help with anxiety and fitness. It makes me feel really good it's helpful for relaxing and for de-stressing after a long day but it's also good for strength and flexibility. I would say just give it a go there's loads of different videos and classes for all capability so anyone can give it a go and just have fun with it. The advice to someone just getting out and doing it is sometimes just start small don't be sort of like ah oh, I'm gonna go five days a week to the gym I'm gonna be out walking every single day and um, my nutrition's gonna be on point you know actually sometimes what it is it's all those little bits even just getting up for 10 minutes at lunch and going out for a walk and um, just to get away from your desk is really helpful ease yourself in and build up and don't put too much pressure on yourself to be perfect with it um, actually it's okay if you miss a week or two um, it's fine just go again when you can um, and I think the hard thing is and it's that catch-22 with um, sort of exercise and, and eating healthy is when you're in a bit of a rut almost where you feel like oh I, you know eating healthy is is hard to do sometimes and when you're feeling a bit down and a bit stressed and, and anxious or just generally not feeling yourself you tend to comfort eat and just sit in and not do anything and actually sometimes it's just that get out and go for a walk you know cook something that you really enjoy um, and just do that trigger bit and build it up and it's that whole one percent sort of notion where it's like actually go for the easy wins um, over trying to just do everything all at once actually just build it up gradually so it fits into your routine. Uh, my name is Francisca I work for On Time um, I'm the medical administrator well, during the weekends, mostly I try as much as possible to go out for walks. I go down to the peak districts. When I go out in the morning, I go as early as six o'clock uh, sometimes just to see the sunrise and I take pictures of the sunrise. I feel relaxed. I feel happy. It makes me really happy. Um, and when I come back, it's like, you know, you press the reset button and you get to think your mind is not so stressed. You're happy. Uh, you smile more. Um, to be honest, you take it in baby steps. You don't do everything in one go. You take it one step at a time. When you go out there, take the shorter walk as, and then you get gradually, you get used to it, to getting out more. And it's quite interesting, to be honest with you. I would advise it. Just try it one step at a time and you'll be able to enjoy it for, for a lifetime, really.